So this is uh, an example of a scrum bun board. If we look from left to right, we can see a release backlog of features, projects, ideas, things that are can be quite big, quite small. We haven't analyzed them yet. The next step is to go into analysis, take a feature from the backlog, work on it, break it if necessary into a smaller feature, maybe use minimally marketable features to arrive at something that is of a smaller size that can be delivered by the team later on quite fast, I would say within one, two, three weeks. <coughs> and the next step is that the feature is ready for development. When that feature is ready for development, it means that we basically uh, have seen this, the developers and testers have seen this feature, know more or less the stories that are needed in order to develop it, and it's ready for an empty space in one of the development queues, development lanes. So the next step is development, actually taking a feature, breaking it into the stories that are needed in order to complete this feature, just the stories needed to complete this feature. We populate the to-do with those stories. Then we start pulling those stories into coding and integration. This can also be test design. Um, here we work on the coding. When we're done, it means it's ready for testing, and then the testers can pull it, test it, and if they're done with it, then this story or task is done. And once all of those tasks accumulate, and the rest of the lane is clear, we can say that the feature is done and it will sit here waiting for the next deployment um, cadence. Here we see the last features that were deployed. So let's see how this looks. Let's run through a couple of days. So let's say we finished We deployed this feature and now we deployed feature 2 in this cycle and now let's see uh, what we will do inside those two weeks, let's assume we're looking at a two weeks period. So the tester has finished testing story 5 of feature 3 and now he's starting to work on story 2 of feature 3. Meanwhile, a developer has finished with story 1 of this feature 3 and it's waiting for testing but there's no testing capacity to do something with this so it will sit here for now. And since there are no more stories here to do on feature 3, um, the developer that free up can either help someone else with story 4 or move to this feature or help the tester here depending on what makes more sense with the situation depending on what our policies tell us uh, we should do what the team decides it should do in those kinds of situations so here a tester takes this story, starts to work on it, coder takes story 5 and starts to work on it, and if we go to the next day, let's assume this story has been finished, it was found to be ok, tester moves to another story, the coder finishes his story that day. Here we find the 
that there is a showstopper. On this issue, so the tester actually here has nothing to do, maybe moves here and helps with testing this story. In the meanwhile, developer goes here and works on uh, addressing this issue. Another developer finishes this story. We are able to fix the bug and then maybe the tester will be able to continue tomorrow. In the meanwhile the coder takes another story to work on. If we look left here we see that meanwhile all this happening the queue of analysis is uh, quite full so there are a lot of ready features so even if the business analysis finish feature 9 and now we see we have six features here there's room to analyze one more feature but there's no room overall in analysis we have enough features to work with for the next couple of weeks probably so the business analyst can go and help the team understand the stories better and try to work over here or do something around the release backlog get some customer feedback on features that were deployed no need to really work on this area for now so back here the tester verified that the showstopper has indeed been fixed and the story is uh, ready for release it takes another story to work on in the meanwhile the developer finished this story but another one has a problem with this one need more um, details about the story a good thing is that the business analysts are quite free so at the daily meeting we talk about this problem and agree to sit together and work on this story so hopefully tomorrow this blocker will be removed. In the meanwhile testing here finished with the last couple of stories on this feature and what we can do is we can clean all those cards to the archive and this feature is now done. So what we do now is we pull the first ready feature here and we add a couple of stories that came with this feature for brevity let's just put a couple of those here and now we're ready to work on this feature but first let's focus on finishing this one we don't have to start working on the second feature just here in case we have m we don't have enough work on feature one when it's ready to be finished so here that the business analyst and the coder work together understood the details they needed and actually finished the coding the business analyst actually reviewed the story so we're cool there the coder can move to another story in the meanwhile the tester finishes testing this one and is okay with it takes another story and since there's some free capacity that freed up from working on feature 2 the testers can actually swarm to feature one and get it over with and if we accelerate through this we can can 
see how it looks like. But let's hold for a second. Let's assume that we finished the we reached the next deployment cycle and now we can say feature 2 is now in the archive and feature 3 has been deployed even though feature 4 has not been finished now hopefully if we're in front of the development cycle the team will be energized enough to actually finish this feature and get it into the deployment cycle in the last moment okay so that's something that the cadence and the time box can provide us and this cycle continues and continues and the last step is that now we have a place to maybe work on another feature to be ready just so we don't run out of features maybe with time we understand that our analysis is so fast that we can actually get fairly well along with just three features that are ready and we can reduce the whip limit here which will accelerate the time to market that we have those are the things that we want to improve over time the less green cards are in this area the faster a certain green card will get from here to here that's accelerating flow so this has been a run through a sample scrumban board or a kanban board for a, a team working on features broken into stories and delivering them it can also be a board for two feature teams each working on their own feature pulling from the same release or product backlog.